Hey, everybody, and welcome to Geeks Fun Alive. Thank you very much for joining us, which is a, a slightly unusual show from the point of view that this is a breaking news show. We haven't done one of these for a little while, although we have got some more of these. Um, uh, we plan to do more of these sort of impromptu shows as more of these stories come up. It is once again DJI leak season or release season. We've got another DJI drone and uh, a couple of other products which look like they're coming to uh, the market very, very soon. And we are now seeing things like the good old FCC filings. Remember those? Uh, a good indicator that a product is coming around the corner. Well, some have been discovered. And shout outs to Azita LV and Drone Deals on... Um, on, on Twitter for helping us keep up to date on a lot of this stuff as well. But we are now start starting to see these uh, coming to fruition. So first up, as you can see here, we have the FCC applications, as you can see here by uh, DJI Technology. Um, we have the DJI Goggles 2, as they're being titled, the DJI O3 Air Unit and the DJI Avatar. So we're going to come into those findings in a minute and we're going to chat about those and look at some pictures and uh, um, some the, the good old look at the label when the FCC filings, because obviously that's the only official picture that actually comes out but it in itself can tell us more than than you can actually realize but very quickly i want to say hi to everybody in the chat and just uh, thank you all for being here frankly um thank you to the early people clocks one of our members good to see you max air 420 107 drones and mike miller both um uh, members as well mike miller is a long-term member of, of the uh, channel so uh, thank you very much for being here mike good to see you uh, brad alston good to see you as well sir hope you are extremely well sean zed hi uh, epstein didn't kill himself one of my favorite um uh, usernames ever um, it's good to see you here. I hope you're well, sir. Jim's droning, uh, loser gene. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Anthony Hughes, Tailspin RC. Hi, uh, Jim's droning says hi and hi back to you, sir. Minty FPV, Michael Airless mean. It's good to see you as well. Graham Fullard, another one of our members. Uh, Chris J Roberts and uh, 107 drones. I think I mentioned you already, but hi, if you remember, so I'll say hi twice, frankly. Um, so yes, yeah, so thank you again for everybody being here. I really do appreciate it. So we we have of course had the. The previous leaks for what, what what we call the DGR DGI avatar um, is it avatar or avatar? I'm not sure which it's going to be. We'll have to wait to, to the DGI official videos uh, to see how people pronounce it. But let me know what you think in the chat to this as we're rolling along. So we'll come back and forward to the chat to see what your thoughts are. But of course, we we've seen these pictures. Um, which is which which have been out which obviously these are the the prototype drone itself um uh being being tested etc with all of the, the the test barcodes and everything else like that the park uh, barcode so they know which which different types they've put on there uh, and this was interesting obviously because it showed a small uh cine whoop protected prop covered prop cine whoop which is the kind of thing when we're used to seeing uh but obviously not from dgi we've, we've seen lots of these products out there like the bumblebee and everything else like that and again we, we do have a hand in this picture so we can kind of see the kind of scale that this is going to be so it's not going to be massive downward sensors and everything else like that which is interesting uh, chris j roberts uh, thank you very much for becoming a member welcome to the geek squad really appreciate you coming on board um, and again to all of our channel members i really do appreciate for your uh, your, your direct support um, in the channel and as, as as per this one from Deals Drone on Twitter, we then get to start seeing a more finalized version of the product. And we know at the top right of this area where the DJI logo is, that's where we've got a power button. Um, it, it's interesting, actually, because some people have thought perhaps even that's an area that's going to... There's the little cap there, which is going to clip off and you're going to be able to attach other things. I think um, uh, I think one of the first people I heard talk about that was Lon Dinard came up with that um, uh, uh, um, idea, as it were, that that cap would pop off and something like the Action 2 would magnetically click on there. Because um, if you don't know, the DJI Action 2 is magnetically connects to the power module and to the second screen module. And also it's, it's the holders that it comes with and that type of thing. So perhaps we could see that happening because, again, the camera on this obviously looks to only be a um a, 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 a single possibly two axis gimbal certainly not a three axis gimbal that we used to seeing so as far as gaining smooth cinematic uh, footage i think we're going to need to see uh, the the ability to attach a second camera perhaps that will happen further back we've got this large area at the back here uh, uh, as, as well which which is obviously the battery being connected in that would be unusual to put anything over that but we have to see that we have to see from that point of view um and more recently in the last couple of days as you were seeing the uh, from from deals drone uh, which is where i found it uh, and um where i retweeted it from we actually see the the drone in the wild as it were and looking much more like a finished 
product. So obviously the color uh, has changed from the early prototype um, uh, colors, which were obviously much more sort of the grays. I mean, it could just be the way that the photos come out, but it, it looks like they've gone for a darker color here, uh, both on the battery and the unit itself. Um, and of course, yeah, we can see there that um, it looks very similar to the original prototype, which you would expect, uh, certainly. Um, Jim's joining saying push a drone so more stable. Yes, absolutely. Um, and yes, Mike Miller, it, it is strange, isn't it? That, that, that And this didn't really help um, the whole walk snail, fat shark, goggle um, uh, uh, issue with the avatar units when it, it's so close uh, to uh, the, the their their product name with the R on the end, frankly, which is uh, which is crazy, really. But again, it, it looks to be fairly small. I've, I've heard a lot of talk that this is going to be an indoor um, a silly whoop type focus drone. Uh, it would be interesting to see something that's focused like that, but you know we'll have to wait and see. Again, I don't expect this to be anything that's going to be doing FPV stunts or, or anything else like that, frankly. But uh, but yeah, uh, it will it will be interesting to see if they decide to pronounce it Avata rather than Avatar to obviously stay away from the um, the Avatar goggles that are out there from from Walk Snail uh, and uh, Fat Shark from those from those products basically. But yeah, I do wonder if there's going to be a, a space for a second camera because you feel like it would need one to be taken seriously in terms of being able to do anything with the footage because I'm not sure that's going to um, uh, to, to actually um, do the job by itself, as it were. So up next, we have what have come out today, what have been discovered today and is out there now on, on the Twitters. The breaking news of today is that the as of today we now have FCC filings on the DJI Avatar, uh, but also actually a couple of other products which I'll come on to, which of course are are, are highly li um, linked to this. So again, you have all of the data there, you have all of the information. Now, for those of you that don't know, the FCC filings are indicative of that a launch is coming very soon. And obviously, of course, help confirm what the actual product name is um, and what it's going to be. From the point of view that this is where DJI have actually submitted the information to the FCC to get approval, uh, so that uh, which obviously you need to get approval and get a license from the point of view of being able to use these things uh, in, in the wireless network. So yes, this again confirms that the avatar is coming uh, there's always a, a nice list of documents um that, that, that have obviously been filed to prove this now they do have the ability of actually having um essentially an embargo on some of these to keep from uh, people from being able to discover an upcoming product. Um, interestingly, the embargo date on these ones is the 22nd of the 1st, 2023, although I don't for a moment think that that's meaning this won't be out till January. Personally, I would expect to see this in the next few weeks, but it does mean that things like external photos, internal photos, user's manual are all greyed out. We can't actually click into those. So usually what you can do, uh, which we can in this case, is look at the, the battery label. Uh, which isn't that interesting, but again, it, it, sorry, the label within the battery compartment of the actual product. It's, as I say, not not particularly interesting. Doesn't really show us anything. Interestingly, they've actually um, <laughs> they've drawn a little drone here <laughs> uh, for this filing. Normally, they would put um, a, an artist rendering or an outline of the actual drone, but of course, because they know the FCC filing is probably going to be found and splashed all across the internet, they've decided just to show whereabouts it will go with a very very basic drawing which is interesting but yes so here it shows the um the uh, confirm of the product name the dji avata as i'm now i think in my mind is going to be calling it um and showing all of the various approvals that this will need um and showing the fcc id etc everything else like that um and it, it just shows again that it complies with uh, part 15 of the fcc rules beyond that it shows a bit of a shape but again the fact that we've already got the the image of it is really does tell us pretty much all we need to know from that point of view. So um, what have also, what's also been found is, of course, what we were also expecting to happen uh, and, and to be launched alongside or at a similar time to all of this is the uh, DJI Goggles 2, as they have titled them on this release. Now, uh, again, there's not too much information as far as documents that you can open that gives anything that's of any kind of real use obviously they talk about you know frequencies and everything else like that but nothing there's nothing unusual there's nothing groundbreaking from that point of view that we can find out from this uh, and again it gives all the test reports and uh, it gives all of the embargoed letters and everything else like that but again it gives the id label uh, so here here is the the certification image which is the uh, e-label 
uh, screen is 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 shown below, um, and it shows again that this this device obviously has the FCC um, Part 15 uh, um, uh, compliance, basically. And that's it. Now, and interesting at the bottom, it's got the e-label, which is saying swipe right on the touch panel to enter menu and select settings about, and then to get to compliance info. So I suppose that's giving us a little bit of information about the fact that uh, swipe right on the touch panel uh, to enter menu and select settings. So perhaps that means we're going to get something more of a um, uh, a swiping panel on the goggles rather than necessarily the fixed little buttons that we're used to seeing. Not sure. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, and also, interestingly as well, this will be interesting for the wider FPV market, not just those who are thinking about this, this Cine Whoop. Uh, we also have the DJI O3 Air Unit, um, which, again, has is obviously something which everybody, certainly in the FPV build side of things, has been waiting for um, with, with, uh, with, with much anticipation, frankly. And again, we have the same the same list of uh, the the useful documents are all barred out but then we do actually have the the label for this one which gives a little bit more obviously we we're expecting the air unit to look like this this is not exactly revolutionary but it does at least give more of an indication of what the actual product's going to look like and there's the label um, on there obviously minus the FCC which it doesn't have yet um, on the surface of the product so yeah so we have as you can see there we have three different products ready to to come to the market and obviously that means i would say, it's safe to say that of course those products are going to be used within the, the dji avatar um, avatar um so yeah it's, it's gonna be very very interesting to see uh, e-drone i'm sure there's going to be a big push to get this product released before the nprm in the states yeah i i i, I think as well you know that we we've now seen the the Fat Shark and Walks Now products come out, etc. And I think, yes, it, it's going to be something that I think DJI will be very, very keen to put out. Interestingly, all of this has happened just as we had sort of rumours and some, some of the like Deals Drone and people like that on Twitter were talking about the fact that the Avatar, the Avata, I'll have to get the name right at some point. Of course, we don't know what it is quite yet. We actually were, they were expecting it to be delayed due to due to issues uh, in the in the production chain. So this perhaps, you know, the, the, the leaked photo that we had a couple of days ago, uh, this one here, uh, showing it out in the wild might well have been a, a little nod from DJI to say, actually, no, it's still coming. We're still, we still want to keep this in your minds, as it were. Um, and yeah, now that it's had the FCC filing, I would expect it to, I mean, some people are expecting even as soon as next week or, or the week after. I'm not sure about that. We, we should start to see the teaser trailers, etc., from DJI very, very soon, uh, if it is going to be that. But yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a couple of weeks, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was maybe, maybe some point, you know, later in August, I'm not sure, but certainly in the next few weeks, I would expect to see some kind of uh, confirmation, uh, some kind of teaser trailer start to drop from DJI, basically. So it's going to be interesting. Now, we don't have information such as the um the specs as as um uh, jerry's saying there in the chat hope the air unit can support 4g module absolutely people are going to people are definitely going to want that but we don't have any of those kind of specs yet we don't have anything on the price range anything else like that so there's there's been no confirmed solid leaks i've heard different bits and pieces but nothing that i can hand on heart say i believe enough to tell you guys about on this channel but we will of course keep you fully informed of anything else that comes up anything else that's there frankly um, 107 drone says, I hope the Avata onboard camera is better than their FPV drone. And I, I completely agree with that. And that's one of the things that I think they're going to have to make sure they get right on this one, because I, I love my DJI FPV drone. Where is she? Ugh. We're out of the cage. Um, I love this drone. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, it's it's it, it, it was my first foray into FPV. Um, and you know, it's a drone that got me flying what i would call manual although i don't think a lot of fpv flies would call what i do as as as, as not acro but but it's this drone in manual at least uh, but again as you can see from the top here i have the um the usual uh, um uh, action camera mount where i mount the action to uh, because this cam th this camera for anything work wise for anything client wise isn't quite good enough uh, so i have to have that on the top there so yeah it's 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 certainly something that i think they're going to have to do i don't see personally it, it, it confuses me slightly i kind of know that they're going to need to be able to have a second camera uh, but i don't necessarily see a natural place uh, for that to go on there frankly let me put that down i'm, gonna, I'm not going to try and put that away live on air and have it uh, 
of it shatter into a thousand pieces as we know how how, how fragile the dji fp drone can be uh, aaron says um would have been cool uh, to be less than 250 grams with with the dji action cam lol uh, but i guess that's just wishful thinking yeah i'm i'm not sure i'm not sure on this one because from from one pretty reliable source that i have they talk to me about this being an indoor specialist drone this is going to be something which is you know in, in, intended for getting those cinematic shots in close quarters indoor and that type of thing it, it, it feels i don't know whether i would expect dji to launch such a specialist drone um in such a set format it's already built this is it this is this is this is what you have to fly uh, because you know we know that although this proved a point that they could build something like this it wasn't necessarily massively successful and of course they've stopped developing it um so yeah i'm, I'm not sure on that one I'm not, I'm not i'm not sure but certainly yes if it was under 250 grams crikey it would be it would be extremely popular frankly uh, Trini Weeks, hi, good to see you. Uh, I like um, forward, uh, look forward to trying FPV, and I hope this can be my introduction. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Trini. I'm hoping, my personal hope for that, as someone who is a camera drone guy who plays with FPV light, and I've had a few whoops and that type of thing, I hope that this will move the cinematic side on for me. That would be my my absolute ideal, that either the camera is good enough i'm not sure um or you can add a camera on there that's good enough to capture some decent cinematic footage and that this is a cine whoop as far as being able to get those nice sweeping natural looking fpv shots for those you know it's the overused word of the century in drones but cinematic shots basically it would be good ray kelly good to see you hope hope you're hope you're very very well um any other comments? Let's have a quick look to see what else, what other, what other people think of this. I mean, it's it's exciting to have another DJI product on the horizon. And as I said, we will be keep bringing you all of the updates on this spec wise, etc. So if you're new, if you're watching this, if you're watching the replay, comment below what you think, but also do subscribe so that you can hear about future updates uh, on this one coming up as well. So. I think that's it. I don't like to take these shows on uh, too much further than they need to once I've got the information across. If you've got any questions about this, please do let me know in the uh, replay comments below. Uh, I always come back to people in the comments and try and answer any questions that they have. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching Geeks Final Live. Tonight, so in fact, in about, where are we? In about four hours time i'll be live again with uh, xjet bruce from xjet and ian in london where we're going to be talking about the fact the uk is looking to review the rules that hobbyists fly their drones under and with that potentially coming up in the future we're going to be asking the question what drone rules would you change and of course with that kind of panel myself ian and bruce uh, it should be an awful lot of fun it should be a spicy live stream but we want we want you guys there we want to hear what you think so so do join us um, in actual fact i will pop a link in the live chat right now so you can head across and set your reminder for that show but as I say, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, Tailspin now C says he's going back to playing Candy Crush. I'm going back to filming some other videos. Thank you very much for joining me on Geeks Final Live. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>